Look at the size of this and they are like walking on a cloud. Good morning everybody and a very happy new year to you all. I know by the time this video goes out it's going to be like mid-January and I have already said happy new year to you all. But I said it in like a sit down video and I feel like not all of you who watch my sit down videos watch my vlogs. I feel like sometimes it's like different people. So I just want to definitely wish you all a very happy new year. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas. It all feels like a very long time ago now, doesn't it? But I hope you really enjoyed yourselves and I hope so far the year is going very well for you all. I actually only kind of started my year on Monday. Today is currently Thursday. So I've only just started my whole like healthy eating back at the gym vibe. I mean, I'm nine days late, but better late than never as they say. Anyway. Today we are off to the shops. I actually have a few things I need to take back which are from Christmas. Um, I bought a pair of shoes and I've realised they're marked so I want to take those back. And what else am I taking back? Oh, I've also bought a beautiful pair of sparkly boots which I got from, where did I get them from? I got them from um, Zara. I love them, however they were kind of pricey. And now Christmas is over. I'm never going to wear them until next Christmas. And to be honest, I would just rather the money. By the way, guys, I smashed my wing mirror on my car. I said it on Instagram, but I haven't said it on vlog. I smashed, like, the wing mirror. It's, it's hanging on. A little bit of sellotape around it. Can you believe it? I got a quote to get it fixed. You'll actually, like, your eyes will water at the price. Like, it's the price of a very nice handbag, to be fair. Um, yeah, honestly, what an idiot. I just don't know the width of my car and I'm kind of learning it a little bit better now, but it was totally my fault. I smashed it and um, yeah, that was a big lesson learned. A very expensive lesson learned. I feel like I have so much to tell you guys, but I actually can't think of anything. My life right now has just been consumed of being a really like healthy queen. Someone is about to reverse into me. Hi, I'm there, Mr. Taxi Man. Okay. Um, yeah, being this healthy version of myself, I actually made the most incredible dinner last night. Like you guys know I'm not the best cook, but honestly, it was delicious. I actually filmed myself making it. So I'll insert that bit of footage now because I was actually going to start vlogging last night, but it was so dark. So I'll insert that footage because honestly, my dinner turned out blooming great. Chef Freya is back in the kitchen and you're going to see a lot of her this year because something we are not doing in 2023 is ordering as many takeaways as we did last year. Like it was not okay. This is the year for health and fitness and feeding our bodies with good food. <laughs> and what better time to start than January? I'm about to start cooking dinner, so I thought I would turn on my vlog camera because it is quite a rare occasion I cook, but as I already said, it's gonna happen a lot in 2023. But some of you might remember that I have done HelloFresh for so many years. My mum has done it for absolutely years, like I kid you not. She is a HelloFresh veteran at this point. We actually have choices on what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Both of the meals I chose are under 650 calories because I'm back at the gym. I'm being healthy, I'm trying to shed a few of the pounds that I put on over Christmas and on my holiday. And I find HelloFresh is such a great thing to do when I am trying to watch what I eat because it has all of the nutritional information on the back just here. Can you see it there? So you have all of the calories, the protein, and you know exactly what's in your food. So the choices are Pill Pill inspired prawns, which looks like this. Or we have a chicken and pepper fajita bowl. I can't lie, they do actually look quite similar. I did select these and there was so much to choose from. You can choose from veggie things, fish and lots of different meat options but i really love like rice bowls and things so we've actually gone for two very similar dishes and we also got this which i'm probably gonna have for lunch tomorrow it's a mozzarella bruschetta which looks unbelievable babe do you want chicken and pepper fajita bowl or pill pill inspired prawns okay we're going for the pill pill inspired prawns so i need to get all of the ingredients see all of the ingredients is just on the side here and as always with hello fresh it turned up in a box straight to my front door that's another thing i love about it is the fact that i don't have to go to the supermarket and it's just so convenient and i find half the reason we ordered so many takeaways is because we get to a point in the evening where we realize we haven't got any food in it's kind of like too late or we can't really bother to go to the supermarket and so we end up just ordering junk but with hello fresh it's all in your fridge so it's ready and waiting for you for whenever you want it also i'd just like to add i am not the best chef it is no secret so if i can cook these meals you definitely can i actually feel like this is quite minimal ingredients but i like that because i feel like it's going to be quite easy so this is what we're trying to achieve guys <laughs> 
And now we'll ignore the mess in the background. But guys, I did a pretty good job. I'm gonna show you properly. It smells incredible. I've had a little taste stuff gone along as well and it tastes great. I'm really happy with that. I can't lie. As I've already said, I'm not the best cook. I think I did pretty well. So let's just remind ourselves of how it's meant to look. And then this is how mine looks. Guys, I'm sorry. I did a blooming great job. I'm gonna let you know how it tastes. I kid you not, I think that is one of the best things I have ever cooked. I haven't cooked many nice things in my life, but our plates are clear. What would you give it out of 10? Nine, into, like, it's not, rest no, like, you're being really generous there. I think for my cooking, it was a nine for my cooking, I agree with that. But like overall food, it was, it was still really nice. Yeah, it was an eight, eight. An eight, but nine for my cooking. I'll take that. It was honestly so nice and it was also really quick and easy to cook. I'm going to keep the recipe card so then I can cook it again another day because it was delicious. I do actually have a discount code for HelloFresh which is 60 Freya and that gets you guys 60% off of your first box which is a huge saving and then it also gets you 25% off of your next eight boxes that covers you for the next two months. So guys if you've been thinking about doing it, do it and it's a great way to start the year especially if you're trying to be a little bit more healthy how impressed are you with my cooking i feel like i want to cook it again tonight it was so nice but tonight we've got the chicken fajita bowl so i won't be doing the prawns again but i think i'm gonna have to order the prawns next week because it was honestly delicious like i woke up thinking about that meal last night it was so good it's actually quite quiet out today which i actually really love over december London was so blooming busy, which I'm really happy about because it means the businesses are getting lots of business and the restaurants and all the rest of it. But like it takes, honestly in London, it takes like 45 minutes to an hour to drive four miles sometimes, like it's disgusting. Also, let's just discuss my outfit today. I have on a black duster coat and a Gymshark set. In a minute, I'm gonna show you how bad my socks look with my trainers. Like the fact I'm actually going out looking like this, I can't even cope, but I've done a fresh layer of fake tan. Can I show you? Can I unzip it before the lights change? Does that even look tanned? I don't know if it does. I did a fresh layer this morning because this weekend is one of my best friend's 30th birthdays, like her birthday party. We're renting a house in Kent, it's gonna be so fun. Basically so many of my friends, including myself, are turning 30 this year. I cannot believe it. I said to my friend Chantelle this morning, whose birthday it is, I said to her, can you believe it was 15 years, 15 years, since we went to prom together. Like, she's been my friend since, what, like year seven, year eight? I met her when I went to secondary school. But I just can't believe, like, we are that old. Like, it's... It's just, it, I don't know, obviously I feel blessed the fact that we're even able to get old because, you know, being able to get old is a blessing in itself. However, I just don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about turning 30. I've said my mission is in the lead up to turning 30, I am going to become the fittest, healthiest, most in shape self I've ever been because I feel like if I feel like that it would just make me feel better about turning 30 and it made me think you know what age is just a number so that is why I'm really taking it seriously this whole kind of like fitness healthy eating thing because my 30th is in April and I want to be looking banging by then not even looking banging just feeling good both like physically and mentally and that, that's the goal, okay? I'm actually kind of a little bit excited for it, although I don't want to wish away the last few months of my 20s. But I have like a few plans for my 30th, not loads. I think I'm going to have a party, like honestly. I've not had a party since I was flipping five and had a bounce castle at the house. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like parties are something you do when you're young or when it's like a big birthday. And for my 21st, I went to New York and then went on a cruise with my mum, my nan and my auntie. I feel like I need to do something for my 30th as well. I need to do something with them. Maybe I need to organize a holiday with them or even my whole family. Hmm, that's a good idea. But I'm actually going to do a party. And parties give me mild anxiety because you kind of sit there and think, is anyone even going to turn up? Lane. But my mum and I sat down. We did the maths on like who we think would come. And we feel like we've actually got like quite a lot of people. Like we know a lot of people. I have a lot of friends. And I feel like it could be really good and you're only 30 once and I feel like it really needs to be celebrated. Anyway, I've really, really just babbled on then. I've quite enjoyed that little chat though, I can't lie. It was very nice. Is anyone going to let me go so I can get down here? Is anyone going to be kind? No, they're not. This is London. 
I always think this, but there's all these really cute houses alongside, and let me show you how close we are to Harrods car park. So there's these little cute, almost like cottagey things. And this is the entrance to the car park. Like, I wonder who lives in here because what a great location. I bet they're worth about flipping 15 million. Can we just take a moment for my um, gym leggings. Oh, nice fag butt there, <laughs> gym leggings with my socks and my trainers. This is not a look today, guys, but the fake tan needed to be hidden. I got exactly what I came for, which was great. We're now gonna to go to Zara. It is definitely a sale in here. Um, we've got like summer stuff. <laughs> Although there are some coats over here. I don't think I have the energy to even look, guys. Let's see if upstairs is any better. It's more summery stuff. Now the last place I left you, we were in Zara, which was probably the worst Zara shop of my life. I literally went in, there was nothing there. I walked out and I'm now at, some of you might recognize this little area, I'm at my parents' house. I came here last night because I already mentioned, I think, it's my friend's 30th birthday this weekend and it's in Kent. So I came and said at my parents last night. I'm wearing the most stunning outfit this morning, let me show you. I have on this grey hoodie which I got from Zara and then I have on um, my Christmas sprout PJs and matching Christmas top. It is now the... Um, What's the date today? It's like the 13th of January. So we're way past Christmas, but I feel like this is such a look. I'm actually about to go down to my car and empty it in this outfit because I bought so much stuff back to my mum and dad. Sorry, mum. Um, that's all going in my bedroom, even though there's not really any room in there. I just needed to clear my flat, clear my head. Does any of you find if the like space around you is a mess, your head feels like a mess? And my flat, that was just it was just bursting at the seams. So I bought loads of stuff home that's going into like storage here. I don't know if it will ever come out of storage. Um, and also all of my friends and family and people come to my mum's house and they come and like take my old clothes so they can wear it. Just because doing this job, I'm so grateful for the fact that I do actually get a lot of clothes and I can't physically wear them all. So I kind of give them away to people so then they can, they can use them as well. Anyways, always we need to get going. I'm running about half an hour behind schedule and um, I've got a lot to do this morning. Look who's in the corner over here. It's Mr. Christopher. King Chris. Hi, how are you? Look at his little paw going. Oh, it stopped now. He'll probably bite me. He's such a bitey cat. Ah, see? Honestly, he bites all the time. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you too. Oh, a little chin scratch. You like Dad? You like Dad? Honestly, he's such a vicious... Ow! Stop it! This is the thing about cats. A dog, well, it would sometimes, but would really never do this. Ow! I hate you. The moment you're walking down the garden path, and the neighbour's gardener is out, and this is how you look. You know, I said there was a lot of stuff. Well, this is like the boot area, and then every single door, like, let me just show you. This car's very big as well, guys, very big. By the way, this is my smashed wing mirror. Like, I'm so sad about it. Look, it's got sellotape on it, it's smashed. It's not, it's not it. Anyway, look how full it is in here. Like, to the brim of stuff. My mum is gonna just, be so pissed off. <laughs> so I'm here with my sister and my mum and they both want to be on the vlog. Do not get rid of that. <laughs> don't worry guys, I won't put you on. This is why you don't see any of my family, no one wants to be on here, but a family member you can see, Dutch. Dutch! Hello. Look at the size of him guys. He's absolutely huge. Look at his paws, give me paw. Oh. Dutch sit, Dutch paw. Yay, good boy. Look, he's like a horse. Anyway, before I go, I wanted to show you something. So I was in the utility room earlier and you know I said my mum has done HelloFresh, by the way, sorry about the mess. Um, done HelloFresh for so many years. I need to show you this. Look at the pile of HelloFresh recipes. Who keeps them all? Like, mum, have you actually ever made one again? Or do you just keep them because you're a hoarder? <laughs> um second answer. Yeah, because look, look how many there are. But they're all very good, aren't they? Do you oh, enjoy? they're excellent, definitely. They're really good. She loves a bit of Hello Fresh. I, I reckon you've done. Do you reckon, have you ever done stuff like repeat stuff you must have done? No, 
Oh, yeah, how yeah that, do you remember that chicken pie we did in the lockdown? What was it called again? It was called Prince, Prince Harry's Pie. Yeah, yeah, that was really That's nice. Weird, like, yeah, why was it called right, that? Yeah. yeah, but it's true that we're saying that now, that it's in the news. So it's, yeah, 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 it's yeah, a Prince change. Prince Harry's Pie. But it was lovely. But yeah. yeah. I did one the other day and I thought, oh, God, your dad and your brother are going to hate this. It was absolutely lush. Anyway, I need to get in the car because I need to go to Lidl, buy all the stuff the grazing board. I'll film as much as I can, but I feel a tiny bit stressed because I'm doing it on my own. So, yeah, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to hold the vlog camera unless you want to come with me, Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> I take that as a no. It is very blooming windy. Beautiful weather today, though. Just realised I don't have a coin for the trolley. Who has coins nowadays? But someone's left this for free. <laughs> it's my lucky day. Guys, we can do luxury unboxings and we can also do shopping at Lidl. This is the great thing about my channel. We can really mix it up. I kid you not, I am running up and down this supermarket. Do any of you remember the program, Supermarket Sweep? That's where I feel like I'm on right now. <laughs> Honestly, I'm like. <laughs> Seriously, look how much bloody stuff I have. I mean, I am feeding like 20 people and doing a grazing table, but what the hell. I'm sorry I didn't vlog in Lidl, but it was like supermarket sweep. I did not have time for it, but we just got to the house. They've, like some of the guys have already set up. It looks so cute in here. This house is so beautiful. It's really old and it's just so lovely. Okay, look how beautiful this room is. Look at all the balloons. And then my friend Ruby made this cake as well. And these guys over here are trying to thread. Trying to birthday. Birthday. <laughs> <laughs> The fridge is full. Look at all this food and in this drawer as well. I actually want this fridge. Look how so just nice. big it is. Yeah, it fits so much stuff in it. Like I had a whole trolley full. Hasn't even filled it. It's incredible. Right? I love it. But the double, the double door. Yeah, so do I. So good. I want to say good morning, everyone, but it is not good morning. It is afternoon. We're all slightly hungover. Abby is here. I'm fresh. I wasn't here last night. Hey, you do look very fresh. I'm very glowy. Thank Love you. Lovely makeup. But we're just about to set up the grazing table. Have you ever done that before? No, not, well, kind of, yeah. not, oh, not really. So everyone is taking videos in <laughs> both days, but <laughs> we're done. There's so much food. Grazing it doesn't really give it justice, prayer. does it? Yeah. <laughs> grazing tables by F8 <laughs> We've got some unboxing to do, everybody. This vlog was meant to end last night, but YouTube had other ideas. I don't know what's going on, but it just took so long for it to upload. Today's currently Monday. I'm covered in fluff from this jumper. Yes, today's currently Monday, and um, I couldn't get this vlog uploaded last night, and I actually hated the end of the vlog, and it ended up being really short. So I'm now back in London after a very good weekend. I feel a little bit ropey. Like as you get older, these two day hangovers are a real thing. I feel like my face looks very puffy. And I also left my entire makeup bag, like everything, well not everything because I have too much makeup here and just in life in general, but all of the makeup I use on a daily basis, I left it in Kent at my parents' house. So my mum is having to come up tomorrow. I did offer to go home, but she said she couldn't come up and spend the night. But she's gonna bring all of my makeup to London. So I've kind of done this make-do, very makeshift makeup look. I just wanna show you how bad the winged eyeliner is. I used like not a winged eyeliner brush. It was just like a regular makeup brush. This one went okay. This one, however, like, it's just not okay, is it? But anyway, I just kind of made do so I'd look presentable enough to film because I'm going to scrap the end of the vlog that I had. I finished it in Kent. I was just hungover and it just wasn't really much of a vibe. I went for a roast dinner yesterday. And instead of that, we're going to do some unboxing because tomorrow, I don't think I've told you guys this year, have I? Tomorrow, no, it's not tomorrow. It's the day after tomorrow. But this week, I am going to a very snowy place in the Alps, which I'm so excited about. It's a brand trip, so I'm going for work, but I have been planning my outfit. So a lot of this stuff over here, can you see this big pile of stuff, is some of the things I've ordered. A lot of the stuff hasn't really worked out, but I just nipped a concierge, and I have a jacket, which fingers crossed will look okay in this box. Haven't seen it yet, but I ordered it like last Wednesday. So first up, we have some living proof Dry hair, no dry hair, hopefully it doesn't give you dry hair. It's dry shampoo and I have never used this before. However, everyone raves about it. Like honestly, I see everyone talking about it everywhere. And this says it's a dry volume and texture spray, which would be really quite good because my hair gets so greasy so quickly. Next up are a pair of boots. I ordered these the other day. They're from a place called My Fashion Tribute. I'll link everything down below. 
Can you see it just here? This company actually sell loads of different boots. They also sell, you know, there's Elias May boots that I have um, that I never take off my feet pretty much. They sell those as well. But I saw these. Oh, they're actually really, really, really nice. I saw these and thought they would be perfect for the snow. So they're like a cream snow boot kind of thing look can you see they've got this like bit of string or should i say a shoelace that wrapped around them but one of my looks for the trip i haven't actually really put it all together yet it's kind of like put together in my head hopefully it works out is an all cream look i've got a really gorgeous fur cream coat off but i thought an all cream look with these would look kind of cute so hopefully should i actually try them on i'll try them on in a minute hopefully they fit maybe i'll show you some of the outfits on so this is from a place called stand studio i've seen this on farfetch they actually did have this jacket on farfetch but they didn't have the size i wanted and i managed to find it on the website of like the actual brand and it went into the sale and what it is it's a faux fur it feels incredible black coat and don't you think this would look so amazing in the snow? I have um, matching earmuffs in the other room as well. That's my delivery. I got myself a sushi bowl. This looks fantastic. Look, do you want to see it up close? Let me, let me take the lid off and just show you it. I haven't had delivery for lunch in such a long time. But when I went down to concierge, I saw a delivery man delivering someone else lunch. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get myself lunch online today because it has been a while. So... I have gone for a poke bowl but with no um, no fish or anything like that. Sometimes the fish can just make me feel a little bit queasy, do you know what I mean? So I got falafel, I got mango, edamame beans, seaweed, coleslaw, coleslaw? Absolutely not coleslaw, that's avocado, chilli and then underneath there's rice. I've never actually ordered from this place before but I thought I'd give it a go. I'm going to eat it with my chopsticks which actually came all the way from Nikki Beach in Saint-Tropez. That was a great day. Lunch is half eaten, but I feel like I have like a ton of other stuff to unbox with you all. So, as you guys know, I'm going to a snowy place. What I got from Harrods the other day, let me show you all, come in this giant box, just here, like this. And I saw these a few weeks ago and I loved them. Like I wanted them, but I thought I'm not going anywhere snowy. And then I kind of thought it'd be so nice to go somewhere snowy. And like two days later, I got invited on this trip. So I felt like it was a sign. And I went back and I bought the boots. Now, I have seen actually people wearing this kind of boot in London. Don't really know how I feel about it. But I feel like I'm going to have to wear them in London afterwards just to justify the purchase. Like for longer than just the holiday that I'm going on. But these are the Prada snow boots. Aren't they unbelievable? Like they're actually amazing. So they're obviously like almost like a moon boot, snow boot kind of thing, but they've got more of a track sole. And then of course they have the Prada logo just on the side there. And they're just so sick. I absolutely love them. And they are like walking on a cloud. You put your foot inside and it's just like a, it's a sock, but it's just all cushioned and padded and my feet are just gonna be so warm. Speaking of feet being warm, I need to get some warm socks today from the shops because I don't have any really like thick, warm, black socks for the trip. And the next thing I have to show you guys is this. Now this was spotted in the back of a few, what well, was in the, my last YouTube video, my best and worst purchases of 2022, that's what it was. And by the way, the feedback on that video has been so good. I feel like I need to do more like sit down videos in this spot because I've said it so many times before, but I've really built a community on this channel who love, just talking about like designer purchases and well not even just designer purchases but just purchases in general and the last two videos I've done just sat here you guys have absolutely loved them so if you do have any video requests for me because I always love like a little bit of inspiration if you have any requests for me let me know because I'd love to film more of those kind of videos this year but in the background of that video a few of you spotted with your beady eyes this, I mean, it's not hard to spot. Look at the size of this. This is the YSL or Saint Laurent. I don't know how to say it. I think it's I care. Probably saying that's so wrong. Tote. It's definitely tote, but I don't know. I, I don't know the pronunciation of the actual name for this bag. Now, this bag, when I first saw it a fair few months ago now, mainly I saw it on TikTok. I didn't really love it. I thought the logo was way too big, pretty tacky, in your face. It was cool, but not for me. 
that's what I thought. And then I started to see it on a few people that I really rate, you know, you follow some people online and you see them wearing something and suddenly you really want it. Those people are, I'm going to credit them, Tamara. Many of you probably know her from YouTube. She has the most amazing YouTube channel, Instagram, everything. She dresses so cool. I love her. I'll leave all these people's Instagrams, maybe on screen or link down below so you can go and check them out. I then saw it on Victoria in the fro. She looked great. I saw it on Laura, who is Fashion Bug Blog, I think, on Instagram. And they're just a few people that I just think are really cool people. I love their dress sense. And then I just started to think, actually, maybe I love this bag. And some of you might remember, but last year, no, it was this year, wasn't it? This year, I bought a um, beach tote from Saint Laurent. And it was, it was black with kind of like a wicker front to it. I loved it. I took it to Dubai. I took it to Jamaica. It went on a fair few holidays with me. I also took it to Cos. But I just felt that it was very kind of beach vibes, which is great because it was a beach bag. But I was using it when I was in the airport, like to travel with. And there's quite a lot of times I'm in London and I need, or like anywhere in the world to be fair, and I really need a big bag that holds my laptop and things like that. And when I went to Dubai, I'd, so I sold that bag. And when I went to Dubai, I was trying to find something to replace it. And the only thing I could really find was a Dior book tote. And I do like the Dior book totes, but I, I just feel like it's a lot of money for cotton. Do you know what I mean? I mean, it isn't even leather, those totes. And I'm not saying they're dumb, because I, I still think they're so beautiful. But I wish I'd bought it like three years ago, if you know what I mean. And I just don't really want it now. So I was trying to find a bag that I could wear to the beach, but also, more than anything, use at the airport. And then use it on day-to-day -day life when I'm at home in London. And that's when I thought this would be great. Because let me tell you, it fits the kitchen sink. Like, it's so big inside. It's just the giant, like, hole. It's just, yeah, it's full of stuff at the moment. But if I take it out, it fits so much, like, scarily much, to be honest. And I've just really grown to like it. I love how soft it is. And I love how it looks on your shoulder, I'll show you. But something else I really love about it, how many times can I say the word love, is the fact that you can actually make it slightly smaller. So let me show you it against me. And if I pop it on my shoulder against my body, that's how big it is. But you see, you can make it a lot smaller and it turns into almost like a bucket bag. And I think this looks so cool. This is now how it looks on against my body. So you basically, you tuck in the sides and there's a chain inside there that makes it a lot smaller, like that. It also comes with this little pouch. Now, something I think is a little bit sad about this pouch is the fact that it doesn't have the YSL logo on the front. I think given the price of this bag, it should definitely have like a logo so you could use this as a clutch. They probably didn't do that for exactly that reason. They don't want you to have two bags. But yes, this bag was very pricey. But I justified it because I feel like cost per wear is going to end up being really minimal. Because I just know I'm going to chuck loads of stuff in it, wear it all of the time, use it whenever I'm travelling. And I do think it will end up being quite like an iconic timeless piece. I might be wrong with that one. So you have to let me know your thoughts on this bag. I feel like a lot of you probably aren't going to love it. Um, I definitely probably was one of those people in the beginning. But I will give you a review on it. And um, if I like using it and all that, how it is to use. And obviously I'm taking it on this trip. Hello guys, this is editing Freya here. It's 5 p.m. It is so blooming dark, but I just realized I didn't actually wrap this vlog up. I was actually gonna continue the vlog, but I decided to stop it here because in the next vlog, I am taking you guys to the snowy location with me. So I shall see you in the mountains. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you don't already subscribe to my channel, go follow me on Instagram, TikTok. And I'm wishing you all so much love. Take care of yourselves, guys. And I will hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.